Hey guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel. I am going to share my September, October homemade scrapbook kit for you today. And so let's just dive in. So if you're new to my channel, um, I create a homemade scrapbook kit every other month. And that is the, basically the products are all from my stash and I use it to make all of my layouts or almost all of my layouts for the two months and it has helped me to really um, pr not purge but to really use the stuff that I have but also at the same time um, it helps me to kind of think outside the box because sometimes I kind of use the same thing over and over again and so with me going through all of my um, my supplies it helps me to remember the things that I've forgotten to use and also to just basically um, not spend too much as well and to just be happy with the items that I already own so let's just get started um, when I make these kits I always have a inspiration paper that I go by and and the inspiration paper almost always have multicolored um, elements in there so that it will help me to pull colors that will match with the rest of my kit. So for this month's or for this particular kit, this one was my inspiration paper. And as you can see, it's a very um, fall themed paper and that's exactly what I wanted because we are going into fall and also Halloween so I thought this one would be cute this is from American Crafts and it's flimsy because it's one of those papers that you get from Joann's um, but I love that it has boxes I can use this for um, of course adding additional elements to my pages I also thought that um, the thank you and thinking of you could be good for uh, cards if I wanted to make cards after I've used up um, a lot of this the stash for my scrapbook pages but I just thought it would it was really nice and I like that the fall colors are pretty obvious for this particular paper so that is my um, inspiration so the items that I had pulled let's just go in you know from top to bottom so ele uh, embellishments I pulled a bunch of stuff from my pocket letters and so these are I think this is chipboard and then I have cork as you can see, they're brown. Um, when I think about fall, I think about nature and how the colors are changing with the leaves. And so I figured the browns and the, the natural design of cork kind of brings that autumn feel. Um, I pulled these ribbons out because this particular paper has this color blue. And so I thought that I could work in these um, ribbons in with that um, and then I also have a bunch of embellishments as well just a bunch of hodgepodge that I found in my pocket letters so I have these elements that I can use um, I also have this sequence it's clear sequence and then I have a couple of brads that I found again the autumn leaves will work and I found a few more I have this brad right here and I have these leaves they're acetate leaves and then I have um, a few more embellishments here it's a wood pumpkin another flower an owl that's purple and then some more leaves over here and then I have just a bunch of die cuts, again, from a pocket letter. And it has a lot of the blues and the burnt orange that would work well with the rest of the um, embellishments that I have or the rest of the color schemes that I have. I have a um, wooden leaf, a canvas, again, going with that natural theme. And then this um, tag that has the black and the brown border. And then I have a bunch of these I cut apart from a very old die cuts with a view paper. And they're just a bunch of Halloween. And I thought that, um, you know, since we're going into a fall themed kit, that it would work well to incorporate some Halloween in there as well. And then I have um, some 
cut files that I've cut already. This is a title cut in black and then just some frames cut with scraps. I cut that with my silhouette and then this gold one that says wish. I have this uh, letter, I think there's just punched out letters that I got from a recollections pack. And again, the natural color of the brown here uh, looks wor well with the autumn feel that I'm trying to accomplish. And then um, I have these chipboard letters that are flourish. I have three words here that I thought would be good for titles. This is creative and um, this is creative embellishments. And then um, now I don't know if I'm going to be able to add these in, but I had made some handmade la layered embellishments a while back. And I know this is more pink, but I thought that the blue would maybe fit in one of my t layouts. I don't know, but I'm just pulling it out so that I can remember to use them. I have some orange sequins here in two different sizes. And then I have a bunch of tags that have the uh, craft, but also the gold that will match with this gold die cut as well if I wanted to. And then just a few, a handful of three by four cards. This one could be good to cut apart. Um, of course, this one has a um, fall theme with the pumpkins. This one could be good as a journaling prompt. It says September. And then another one journaling prompt. It, this one is focused on Halloween. And then I have a new to me sticker sheet from, uh, I think this one is... Mambi, maybe, me and my big ideas. Um, it's a happy planner sticker sheet in it. I got it from Tuesday morning, but if you can see the colors of it, it matches fall colors. So I'm thinking I could use that for my scrapbooking. I don't do planners, so um, I will just use this for my scrapbooking, but I love adding stickers to my layouts. And then for another piece of, um, you know, for good for titles, I'm pulling out these stickers set. It is a foam thickers and it's called Adorn. It's just thin um, serif, I think, or sans serif. I can't remember. But it will be a good combination for the scripty ones of that chipboard. So that's why I pulled that out. And then as far as a tool, because um, I usually pull a tool for my kids as well, uh, I'm going to be pulling this new to me stencil. And I love that it has script letters, so it might be good to just kind of add a little bit of interest in backgrounds. All right, so those are my embellishments. So now let's go on to paper. Now I picked a bunch of papers because I'm noticing that I use a lot more papers than anything else in my kit. So I think I have 18 here, I might be wrong, but I also do some double page spreads. So this will be good to have a lot more um, choices as far as my paper selection is concerned. So like I said, this one was my inspiration for this particular kit. So I pulled out a bunch of the ones that have the same color scheme as this. So I have this dark brown from Basic Gray. And then I have this floral print. This is from Echo Park. I love the floral of this. I can cut that out, but I also love the stripe of the background. So um, I can use both sides of that. This one's a green plaid one, and um, it matches, well, there's like different hues of green on this um, plaid background, but some of them match with the green over in that square that I showed you. And here's the other side. Okay, now this one is another checkered, and as you can see, a lot of the um, fall colors in this particular paper. This one's from Pebbles. And then this one is another or, uh, yellow. It's more burnt yellow, and it just has simple dots. And I love these kinds of papers because they're good for backgrounds. That's the other side. Again, another very subtle pattern. And then here is the background. So I can use either this side, which is looks like um, more uh, brown, just plain brown, and craft, I should say, craft-looking cardstock. And then, or I can use this one with a subtle design. Now this one is good for cut-apart sheets, and as you can see, they're autumn design. And this one is from Cartabella. 
And that's the other size. I can use that one as well. And this one's another one from that same line. It has that dark red. And then here is the other side. Now I was contemplating if I wanted to use this side for like cutting out letters, but um, I also like this side. So it all depends on what I cut out. I, I could either use parts of it as for, for the red side or I can use this side. It doesn't matter to me. And then this one has the pumpkins and it's kind of foiled looking paper. It's from SCI and I thought that would be fun to add as well. There's the back side. Another of that kind of burnt orange mustard yellow type of paper. And then this one is debating if I should use this or not, um, but I really like the colors of this. I think I have a lot of browns in this um, kit, but I think it will work. So I, I would rather have more than not enough. So as far as multicolored paper, I also pulled out a bunch of bigger scraps from my scrap stash. So these these are all from scraps, uh, my scrap pile. And so I got grabbed this multicolored paper from my mind's eye just for you know, all these colors over here. And then I have this uh, ruler paper. I can always cut just specific ones if I wanted to add that. And then here is some of that to pull some red. And the back side is our hearts. And this one is from Pebbles. This one is just, as you can see, just a very small strip of the brown. I like the dark brown. And then another one, I don't know which one. Okay, this one is from Farmhouse Paper Company. I don't think they exist anymore, but I like the colors as well. Very, very autumnish. And then this one... I think this one's an American Crafts Paper Dear Lizzie one, if I'm not mistaken. And I just like the black um, the fonts on this one. and has all of the days of the week. And then a full sheet of a purple dotted paper. So that is my kit for this next two months. I hope that you guys will follow along as I make some pages with this kit. And if you have any questions, make sure that you leave it in the comment section below. And I hope that this will inspire you to go through your stash and find something, put together a kit that would help you to be inspired and create some pages with it. And I will catch you guys soon another day. Bye.